we start with one of our chart. Okay. First of all, we refer to our analyzers. We had two, uh, yesterday we have two analyzers, two video on YouTube. The first one, when the price was here, we men I mentioned that if you wanna look for buy, let the price come to this level. This is what we get. Then later I update that any buy within this range, we can get it because we mentioned that we want the price to come to this high. Okay. And if we refer, the only way we could buy it because based on, even as we mentioned, based on lower time frame, we need to trade. Any small flag we can buy. Okay. This is where we could buy. And the second things I highlight that if the price come to this level and break and continue at that time, we consider the correction is finished. The breakout of this for the next correction, we can look for buy. This is what we get, all right? And for this one, the only way we could trade was based on this small, based on 15 minutes. Okay, no, we are in this trade. Okay, but beside that, we need to know that whatever trade from here, we need to start to manage it. Okay, now we may we go for the bigger correction or when the price drop, because as we can see, price move, correction move, we get the deeper correction. Okay, it depends on the traders, whether they want to keep the trade or take the profit or uh, it depends on them. But if they want to keep, they should know how to manage it. Okay, now what we are looking for, if we move to, Weekly chart, we want to see whether the price can retest this top or not. But first, we need to see whether it can break out. We can get the breakout of this. And if we zoom in, we don't see anything. That's mean, but it doesn't mean the price can go sharply without the correction. And the second thing, I prefer when the price comes to this level, this price, 1.25. And here, and the last one is this, any of this level when a price come, I start to manage. May we get the correction because it's not the really good level. The only thing is we need to care about this, but any of this, the, where I'm going to see whether there is, we're getting the correction or not, at least start to manage, be careful for the, uh, re, I, we don't call it a reverse or big, bigger correction because based on the day, okay, no one to see how we can trade it. Based on daily chart, we have this sharp move. That's why somewhere we need to get the correction before we get the continuation. Okay, it depends whether the daily or forward chart. As you can see, based on forward chart, after each sharp, we get the correction. And now we expect to get one more. Whether here or higher, we get. Okay, me, what we get will be quite bigger than any of this. It depends. Okay, but still we're looking for buy. And based on one hour chart, we don't have any trade setup right now. We wanna see if there is a continuation, the next correction we buy. And if the prices start to correct here, also we can buy. But right now we don't jump into the trade. Even right now, we don't jump in the, I mean, we don't trade it based on lower time frame. only one hour for me. The only times I trade based on lower time frame when we are within the correction. No, we are, we don't have any correction. That's why any trade based on lower time frame is not a good idea. Okay, from now, if you wanna take the trade, uh, we wait for the correction for the next move. Okay, and those that are in the, the, the trade, they should uh, protect the trade, at least they manage it. And in this case, we follow, if I see any trade, I mean changes or any trade setup, then I will share on YouTube, thanks.